Hello everyone and welcome to Streaming with Steven. It looks like I've got to uh, change the screen there a tiny bit. Hold on, hold on. The mirroring didn't work. So what happens when my iPad goes to sleep, the mirroring disconnected. So this should just take a second. There we go. There we go. All right, we're back. Everyone, welcome to the stream. I see we've got Turtle and Firepith already in the chat. Welcome, good to see you both here. Um, so I've got, this is my first time using my new iPad and using the Airstream software in this new sort of, this sort of screen layout um, in the sense that, I don't know, can you, can you see my cursor when it's over the screen or no? I honestly don't know. Either way, so this is my first time with the layout on the left-hand side with the, uh, New iPad, woo woo! That's right. And so last time we were working on um, this cute little fella here, Boris, for the the 1000K bit level. Um, but the, I guess when I, f at the end of last stream, I wasn't quite 100% happy with how it left off, mostly because, and I'll just get into sketching mode here. Oops, um, close that one. Open this. Okay, there's a sketching layer. So basically, I find that the arms tucked in the way they are. Cancel. No, no, no. There we go. So the hands kind of tucked in together like this. I think it looks pretty cute. Oh no. Well, you can actually use your uh, fire bit if you want to. You can use, remember, um, what is it? Can you unlock an emote for for a small number of points? Yeah, you can always do that. Well, thank you for calling it glorious. So yeah, so as I was saying, let's turn up the transparency on this layer here. Having the two hands going together is, is cute like this. But when it's in the small, or I'll just undo all that. I know I just did it all. But if you were to look at that as a small emote, the arms almost disappear in terms of the shape. So we've got this, when you see the shark small right here. And so into the transparency. So when you see the shark small right here, you have to get the arm sticking out like that, so at least it has some sort of a, a shape to it. But up in up in Boris Land here, those hands sort of disappear. So we're going to first start off by spreading out the arm, so we make it a little bit more of a hug, like a, an open armed look. And then I'm also going to uh, change the color of these eyes because at a small size, I find that the red color doesn't pop out enough from is brown color. I'm going to probably change them to, I'm going to try a few different colors. I might try, I'll start off trying pink because it's a very close, but all right, without further ado, let's get into some, uh, let's get into some boars fun here. All right. And I'm also doing this a little bit differently where I have Streamlabs actually paying attention to the, the stream window as opposed to um, my whole screen. So I've got the chat up on my screen but I may occasionally miss um, things that happen. So, all right, let's get rid of that. So don't need it. What do I have for eraser? I'll just use painting you. Yeah, that's a good eraser. All right. So of all, another thing I've decided is I'm not going to use square backgrounds on it. I'm actually going to change the shark type one as well. I find that the uh, As uh, Frosty and I were discussing, or Frosty meant, oh my goodness, can't even talk. As Frosty mentioned at the dinner table, um, the square is a bit harsh, and I agree with him. And so for me, I think we're gonna we're gonna try to do it in a way that basically has a a, sharp, a circle that all of the characters are going to bust out of. So Boris is going to have actually uh, let's let me erase that at the bottom. Let's just erase the arm since that's what's going to happen. It's arm, 
Actually, no. Let's duplicate that so we don't lose it. I'll work on this one. I'm generally a fan of generally a fan of not deleting information permanently anyway, so that if, if I do have to delete it, I always try to copy a layer. I do that the same in my day job when doing photo manipulation and things like that in Photoshop. I rarely, rarely, rarely ever actually completely destroy or delete pixel information. All right, so let's get a sense of what we want this circle to maybe look like. if I'll do that because Boris's body actually is a circle and a square so his body is only about that tall. Hey Stegosaurus welcome to the chat. Not sure if you recall or not but today is an earth stream. We are we are focusing on emote number two. We've got the shark type one already. Today it's going to be about Boris. So yeah, Boris's shape. So the, the sharks and Boris have similar. Oops, erase right. Have similar shapes. So the sharks, they've got a round head, and they usually use a round circle for the body as well, so that it curves like this. Head. This is just obviously super quick. But that's how I figure out what I want their bodies to look like. And so the sharks in Boris are pretty similar, except that Boris is a circle and then a square. Yes, I am drawing them out today. So every Sunday from now on, from 7.30 to 10.30, or 7.30 to 10 Atlantic time, I'm going to be doing a drawing stream. So Tuesdays and Fridays, uh, that's the schedule I'm going to do for now. So Tuesdays and Fridays is going to be um, still Minecraft, but I've been wanting to do some more drawing. So I figured if I take Sundays or take a day and dedicate it to drawing or art, then I'll actually make some of that move forward. So, so Sundays from now on, drawing. So the thing I need to be careful with Boris here is I don't want to make his... If I make this circle come down too far like this, then... And his legs are going to show at the bottom, and I think that would be weird in an emote. So we'll probably, since his circle is like that to there, the square would very much be right there. So almost exactly that. So that means I don't want that outer circle. And 91 followed. Nice, nice, nice. Oh yes, that reminds me. Um, Golden Goddess... Uh, Nehru, I don't know if you're watching right now, but you snuck in as a follower after this stream, I believe, last time. So if you are here, welcome. Pleasure to have you along. And I greatly appreciate the follows. I enjoy, I mentioned this before, and I, I, that I enjoy doing the streams and I enjoy doing this sort of thing, but it's just it's so much more enjoyable with people along. So I'm just putting that back because I'm going to trim it down. I, I like where the... Where it's, where it's meeting up up there. Actually, maybe that's what I'll do is I'll just have the... I'll cheat the square a little bit. 100 would be very cool, yeah. I, I feel like I should do something for 100, but I have no idea what that would be. 100 feels like a lot, but at the same time, it. I don't know what it would do. Alright, so that circle looks better. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And I think the circle is just going to be a more interesting shape than the uh, the square. I'll fine tune the circle afterwards. It's funny. I always find that when I do arcs, I'm right handed. So I find time to sing. Who did that? <laughs> 
Stegosaurus Redeem Sing Along. Oh man. All right. Well, I've, t fair warning. I've not done Sing Along to drawing before, so it is going to be. It's going to be what it's going to be. All right. There we go. Oh, hey Siri, set a timer for two minutes. Thank you very much, Stegosaurus, for using your viewpoints. Okay, two minutes and counting. All right, but since I'm right-handed, I always put the curves like this with my right hand on the right and the curve on the left. So if I want to go the other way, I just turn it around and I say, same as last time. Same as last time. I'm not sure why that is. It's just what I've always done. I rotate the paper to suit the way I face. It just ensures that I do not put a crooked line in place of the perfect curve. The perfect curve. And there we have our circle and I'm thinking it looks fine. And now we need to figure out how far we should draw this line for the arm. The right. Well, to his right and our left. It feels perhaps I've gone too far. It seems out of whack. But let's try the other direction just to make sure. Mm, I do think the arms are too long. At least I found a word that rhymes with song. No, that wasn't on purpose. It just sort of happened. I like it when words rhyme, but I've got nothing for happened. And so that might be still too long. We'll trim it down. We can undo if it happens to look wrong. Well, there we go. But I'd like to know how's the music in the background sound? Everything seemed fine. Sorry, I missed some comments here. Fancy we can see the timer. Oh, that's right. It showed up on the screen. And anything on my screen will be there for you to see. Well, and now you can see when it's done. Interesting. That's actually pretty handy. Cool. Well, thank you very much, Stegosaurus1117, for using your viewpoints. Greatly appreciate it. Oh, let's see. What, I missed some comments here. So we've got... Um, any viewpoints? Nice. An auto tuner would be great for this, though, for sure. There is an auto an auto tuner um, app, but it's that works with Streamlabs, but it seems to be only for PCs. So I'm happy to continue to do continuing along with Sing Along when it's available, but it is weird doing it for the drawing. I'm not opposed to it. It just seems weird. All day long. Oh my gosh. Do you want to do that? Hmm. So, I think this will be fine. I feel like this arm, it's, it's, it's bugging me that this arm is intersecting at the outer line of the circle right here because it's going to look very, very close. But I think in the long run it'll be fine because I have... Um... Actually, I did a quick color test. Let me bring that color back in. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Apple products. What? What are you saying Apple products for? Just because I'm working on an iPad? Come on. Welcome to the chat, though, by the way. <laughs> Danny slides in, insults what I'm using. Oh, man. That's no fun. All right. So this is the color. Nope, that's not the color. That's just a big old white circle. Oh, I thought I had a blue... Is that white? That is white. I thought I had a light blue one already. Oh well, apparently not. Let's stick this in behind the sketching. And we want to then shrink that down. Alright, that's pretty good. 
don't remember if that's a perfect circle or not, but that's not bad. Actually, let's just do make the background a little bit darker green. And just for now, so we can see it stand out, we'll make this circle lighter green. Oh, missed something. I'm gonna save it for Hottie Boy. <laughs> there you go. So that will give us an idea. That's pretty good. It'll give us an idea of. Oh, I took that out of the group. There we go. Yeah, so this. Oh, cancel. All right, that's the wrong one. We want. I changed my uh, my quick commands around a little bit, so I'm trying to remember what they are. Sketch. Oh, I didn't realize the transparency had gone down on that. That's super weird. I definitely think that's better. Actually, let's just take the uh, the background color away because really it's going to be either on a white, probably on a white or black background. So let's just leave it as white for now. Circle looks good, so let's turn it off so we can just focus on the sketching part. All right. Do I have the sketch? I do. Hey, 7567 aim, welcome to the chat. Did you slide in earlier and I missed it? Oh, I'm really sorry if you popped in earlier and I missed it, but either way, welcome, welcome. Yeah, so this is me working on the my second emote. And then for those of you who have joined in a little bit later, I've decided that Sunday evenings are now going to be reserved for drawing because I have a bunch of things I would like to draw and share with everyone. But it never seemed to have seem to have time to do it. So, if, so every Sunday now is going to be. You just joined. Awesome. Welcome, welcome. Yeah. So every Sunday is from now on is going to be, or at least tentatively, every Sunday is going to be the art stream day. Oops. Is better. That seems a bit long, so we'll go with this one. Um, as everyone with the type of music, should we choose a? Is it too too much? Or should we try to go for something a little bit quieter, a little bit more chill, or is it fine? Or if nobody says anything, I shall assume it's fine and we'll stick with it. You don't mind? Cool. Music is great. Awesome. Thank you both very much. The verdict is in. The music shall stay. All right. Dun -dun. Let's make this pencil a little bit narrower for the sketching. Okay, that's definitely better. I think it actually looks pretty good as is. It didn't take nearly as long to figure it as I thought it would. Not that I thought it would take forever, but I didn't think it would be that quick. Oops. Right on. Oh, Stegosaurus looking. All good. It's funny though because I find uh, seven five six seven aim. I find that patience is the biggest thing um, because it's sometimes drawings just take forever to get it exactly the way you want it. But if you don't have the patience for it, it's just not going to work out. Okay, it's it's two things. You have to enjoy it taking a while, but you also have to yeah you have to enjoy it, but you also have to have the patience. All right, that's good. Let's go back to. 
the clean line version. And now we erase that which we do not need any longer. And for the eraser we have that still. Okay, good. Let's go a little bit smaller with that. No, let's go a little bit larger with that because that is now far too small. There we go. Two is too small, but three is huge. In this case, two and a half would be nice. All right. This is something I need to get used to as well. I find art streams will probably be, probably inherently be wider just because I'm focusing on the drawing and I may not have as many things to just throw into the mix. I'm going to turn the, turn the transparency in the sketch down to make it easier to see the clean lines. Oh, no, that's the other one. And we want to turn this one down. Oh, seven, five, six, seven, eight. I appreciate it. There we go. That's good. Oh, right. We want to, we changed the belly, the belly shape some too. We're just going to redo that part. It looks yay. <laughs> right on. Well, thank you kindly, real turtle, sir. Oops. And for this, we need. Can't remember whether which pen I was using. Uh, no. You want? Yeah, I believe that's what we were, what we were using. Oops. I don't like relying on the curve tool, but just erase that bit. I might have to do the whole curve over again, but we'll see. No, it's got a bump in it now. That's going to annoy me. Darn it, because I like the rest of the curve. Actually, let me try this again. Nope, stop it. Yeah, I'm just going to do the whole thing over again. Eh, maybe not. Yeah, there's another bump in there still. Perfection at its finest, yeah. That's where it's at, though. I mean, it's, if you can't get the, the line rate, it's so annoying. This is what I was talking about, trying to get the, uh, the curve just... Or having my hand placed in the same spot almost every time I do a curve. It's not bad. It's a little bit wonky outside of the circle, but I'm not too worried about outside of the circle. But I think that compared to the other lines, that one's a bit thin. What do we have that at? Six. Oops, let's try eight. See what that looks like. Hmm. Let's try ten. Oops, that's 11. 11 is just crazy. Actually, that looks better. That looks better. I'll try that one more time. So I am going to have to go around and thicken up all the other lines. Actually, that reminds me, I need to get rid of this one. I'm not going to be taking any breaks from streaming, if that's what you mean. I'm going to take a break from work, but I my, my plan is to continue all the way through, except 
Actually, let me just check my calendar here. Um, so in December... Actually, Christmas Day is the 25th, so I'll probably be taking that off. And New Year's Day is also the first. Huh, so I guess I am taking some days off, potentially. Maybe. We'll see. I may keep the, the January 1st, but... Um, the, uh... I'll be taking Christmas Day off for sure. So the 25th. So I guess to answer your question is, I wasn't sure, but yes, I am taking at least a day off, possibly two. You don't have a shark type unlocked? Oh, how many view points do you have? Because you can you can unlock it using 480. Yeah, 480 is weird. I think I think um, Twitch is automatically setting that amount. Yeah, if you do that, that emote is available to tier one subs. So if you if you wanted to do that, that's perfectly up to you. But you don't necessarily. I'm not saying do it because you get four. Oh no! So ten more points and you'll have it. He's so close. I think I might change that after tonight because I don't want to go in and change it right now when we're in the middle of this, but 480 feels 480 feels like a weird number to begin with, so even if I made it 500, that seems better. Alright. But you're close. I'm not going to change it right now. Ah, come on, Curve. I can do this. How did the stream go, Steven? Well, it's been about 45 minutes on one curve. Yeah, that's good. Cool. All right. That's a little bit bent there. So close. Yeah, thank you for letting him know, him know by the way, Turtle. Much appreciated. I should say them know. I should not claim to know. Come on, come on, Curve. Realizing this one went a little bit. This one has a weird bump in it right there. Usually I wouldn't care this much about the line quality in a drawing. Um, but since they're going to be icons and people will... And then they feel like a little bit, feel kind of special. So I'd like them to be as good as possible. Bit of an aggressive eraser. There we go. How does that work anyway? The um, I never really checked the viewpoint thing. Choose an emote. 
Uh, is it for 24 hours that you get the emote? I forget. Sorry, I should know that, but I just clearly... And these lines are generally beefier than I would want to do on anything. Any kind of drawing like this. Because it's hard to get the details in. But you're going to be so small in the end that the lines have to stand up. Alright, how thick are the lines down here? I think we need to do a little bit of a line comparison now. And we'll probably have to beef all the lines up a little bit. I think they look like a cute cup, cute pair though, I mean... The drawing styles are pretty similar. Awesome. Thanks, Sarpith. Yeah, and Gillis, I'm going to do a, uh, a circle around as well. It's going to look something like that, but same ideas with... as with um, Boris. It'll probably be something like that. So they're both going to be in circles and bust out of them slightly. Which I like. Actually, what I should do is pay attention to the exact size of the circle and make sure they're the same. But I'll do all the drawing. I can make more precise circles in Photoshop. So I will do all of that over there. So I need to thicken Force's lines, at least his outer lines, up a tiny bit. Let's go do that. Steak night. Oh, that sounds delicious. Sounds delicious. Although, for the most part, our families, we're not strictly vegetarian, but we're close to vegetarian, so steaks are good. I just haven't had one in a long time. Is, is Friday night steak night? Is every Friday steak night in your house? Monsieur Turtle? Nice! Good job, 7567 aim. Out, out of curiosity, because I didn't, I don't get to see it. Because I automatically have access to it. Do you get that emote for 24 hours? Or is, did it say how long you get it for? Eats every Friday. Oh my goodness, right, it's Sunday. Silly me. Losing track of my days here. Uh, nope. No thanks, Siri. Okay. Strange. I'm not sure what triggered at that. Didn't see anything? Okay, well hopefully you've got it for a while. That'd be fun. Apologize for the constant zooming and spinning, but like I said, it's I've always got my I do all the curves the same way. Oh, and I'm gonna be super whiny for parts of the stream because I hurt my back earlier and I got an old man back. 
not really. I just I twisted it funny like a week ago, moving the couch. And then I heard it again tonight. So maybe I do have old man back. Maybe the warranty ran out last weekend and now it's going to hurt all the time. And I'll have to go get a cane and then start shouting things at kids like, Get off my lawn! Crazy teenagers. Make a list of old man things to do. Maybe not. Okay. Well, still, I hope you get to enjoy it. Use that as much as you like on all the different chats you're in going for the next 24 hours. Peppermint tea again. Peppermint, peppermint, peppermint tea. <laughs> That's right. Get off my lawn and watch my streams. <laughs> You've got time to be on my lawn. You've got time to watch my stream. <laughs> All right, so going forward on these streams, so I've, I've got enough stuff to keep me busy for a little while. So I've got this amount that I'm going to do. And this is for the um, for those who um, have cheered at least a thousand bits. Then the next one I'm going to do is the one for those who have cheered at least 5,000 bits and then 10,000. So those are the different levels of emotes that I have available. You actually have to work your way up to be able to get access to them. So this is, this is all I have access to. And then after that, I want to do custom alerts for... Uh, custom alerts for when people, for example, do use the emote. So basically I, I can have custom things pop up, apparently. Alistair's going said I could do that, so I might have to bug him for the help, but apparently I can have a custom alert and custom things show up on my screen every time somebody Like for for example, if if Hottie Boy gets chosen, I could do something like You know, do have uh, some sort of an illustration with somebody with a monocle. I can basically have a, a drawing of somebody like this pop up. I guess they'd probably be bald. I'm going to decide that they're bald. Basically, that's super rough. But I can basically make a really hoity-toity British looking, or not even British, just really stuffy looking um, person. Go up. Uh, cut. There it is. All right. Did we have a... Did I miss it? Can you get two stairs? Where did you do that? Did I, I totally missed it. You can get a stair. Are you looking for one right now? Did you redeem such a thing? I did not see such a thing. The fire pith, if you would like the stair. Or did I totally miss it up above? Rolling back through my points. I do not see that. You haven't enough for a stair? Well then, no stair for you. Oh, that's, it's one of the awards. So if you save up 1,234 points, so one, two, three, four, you can actually, in, oh, that's right, I took it away. In Minecraft, there is a, there's a command called the perfect place or the perfect spot, which if anyone uses it, that means wherever I am in Minecraft. I can enable it if you like. Wait just one sec. I just enabled it. Well, does that work for you now? Can you see it now? Actually, wait a second. I can do... Um, right. Reference. I forgot I could do this. Basically, as I zoom in and out, I can get a good sense of what like what these lines look like. Totally forgot about that. So 
So I can see if I've added a weird bump in the drawing. Fire breath. Not that you need to use it, but I enabled it, so it would be in there. A little bit of a, a waste in the drawing, though, because I would not be able to place actual Minecraft stairs. It would be more of a... I would just do a silly little drawing of stairs. Again, sorry for the quietness. I just find it easier to focus if I'm mm, quiet. Quiet in my head. I'm quiet in the stream. I just want to take a peek to see if this is a good line weight comparison. Yeah, that looks better. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Stegosaurus is back! Welcome back, Stegosaurus. We're just getting sucked into the details here and trying to make all of these lines thicker. I'm not trying to. We're actually making them all thicker. Because we're trying to make them thicker and not lose detail. That's, that's a big trick. And Boris here is the star in a children's book I've written. And I have to do drawings for, so I'm not going to do them right right away because I have other things to do, but I am going to eventually do drawings for that children's book on stream. And the title as of yet is not going to be announced because I do not want to put ideas out there just in case someone goes that's an awesome idea, and steals it before I get a chance to finish it, but... And the name Boris for a boar in a story isn't original, but... I still like it anyway. You can, yes. For 480 points, you can unlock uh, an emote of your choice. It seems like a weird amount. I might I might change it. I may change it to I think the whole point is that it's set to auto, so Streamlabs chooses the value of the points based on sort of channel traffic and how popular you are. I don't know if I need it for that one. There you go, nice. And it's because I get it for some on some level. This is supposed to be a, a, a treat for subscribers. So the fact that it's available to non-subscribers, not that it cheapens it for subscribers, but it makes it less special. And so I don't want to lower it. Or if I lower it, I don't want to lower it too much because it shouldn't be easier. It shouldn't be easy for non-subscribers to get all the time. I don't know how to turn those notifications off. Oh, I didn't silence notifications. Funk. I don't know if that'll silence it on my iPad as well. I just silence them on my computer. We have to take a teeny tiny break to respond to that text because it's a 
my French teacher. Do I have my phone here? I do. There. Sorry to have to do this, folks. So I'm going to... I'm going to try to draw and text at the same time. I don't know how well it'll go because you shouldn't drive and text at the same time. But... That's got a weird bump, doesn't it? I'm going to do or try to do this all the time with the small reference window there because this little thing makes it very easy to see where the bumps are. Love it. Um, maybe you can make it so the emote unlocks for one stream only. The, the double D's of danger while I'm texting. Exactly. Actually, Stegosaurus, I think you can only... Um, I think it's only a 24 hour thing anyway. I don't know. I don't have control over how long it lasts. It's a default amount of time built into to, um, Twitch. Oops. That heart looks a little flat on top. That's better. Oh yeah, seven five six seven eight making full use of that emote. Nice. It looks pretty good. I think now I just need to beef up the nose a little bit nose and mouth area, and then we can start coloring in it again. Sorry, right, Danny, I missed that. Uh, publishing a children's book. Style of drawing is so tough for me. Well, it's, it, it's interesting because, I mean, one of the, is it this particular style that your friend is looking for? Because I was looking at, I, I went into the children's book section and chapters, which is um, the bookstore here in Canada. I'm not sure where you're living, Danny. It's, uh, but essentially, when I went in there, I, I took photos of a bunch of different photo uh, illustration styles, just trying to figure out how I wanted this to look. And I like to draw. I feel I'm a. I don't know how to say this without sounding full of myself. I feel I'm a good drawer, but sometimes there are illustration styles that I just probably t what you're talking about. Illustration styles I just can't. I can't do that. I, I really wish I could. Just the line quality, that's the, the control over line quality that some people have with pencil and stuff blows my mind. So I'm grateful for digital in the sense. More realistic than cartoonish. Fair enough. But um, yeah, I don't know. There's there's some children's books that are that I find have a little bit of a, they're, they're, they're definitely kids illustrations, but have a more of a, do you say when they have a realistic look, they're, um, they're very, like very much, like you lean more towards trying to be photorealistic? Or is it more of a, like a, an artistic feel than it is a illustrative, illustration feel? Line quality and clarity, right, yeah. This little bump inside the mouth here is driving me a bit crazy. This is where digital is nice because it's, you know, I can sensibly get in here and get super annoyingly detailed with the, uh, the line quality. Like I said, this is mo only because it's an emote and I need it to be. Well, I don't need it to be. I just want the quality to be extra good for when I shrink it down. And there's a bump inside the mouth there, too. I must have just done that.
Hmm. Yeah, there's definitely a bump there. Yeah, it's better. Much better. I mean, drawing details is more natural for me than... Gotcha. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. I guess I find myself a little bit more on the opposite side, where I would... There, there are some illustration styles that definitely lean more towards the realistic that I would love to try to work on, so that I can... I feel like I would like to make illustrations a little bit more realistic, so I don't have to... F I guess not realistic, but having them being so cartoony all the time, I wish that weren't the case for me. Like, if I could find a happy medium... If there's one there's one book that we have um what's it called um the hippopotamus like it's hippopotamus but it's a hippopotamus that has the hiccup so it's called the hippopotamus and the illustration in that it's very cartoony but the way the person uses pencil crayon or, or the, i think i guess it's it's cartoony but the coloring in it is just so good what did i do which so that even though it has this very um childlike quality to it it's it feels like it's a higher quality than has a higher quality finish than i currently do so i gotta work on mine a little bit there we go all right Hmm. Messing that curve up. That actually looks fine like that. I don't think I need to mess with that anymore. Or right there. Not on that part anyway. So for the most part, these lines are in no different spot than they were before. They've just been thickened up. That's true. That's very true, Danny. That's actually one of the things... It's funny. That's one of the things I find frustrating. Like, there's always something more to do. But at the same time, you don't actually ever have to stop where you are. There's always something else you can sort of teach yourself and push yourself towards. So that which I find frustrating, I also find one of my favorite things about doing stuff like this. I guess it all depends on what mood I'm in. <laughs> is it a mood or is it... Am I okay with it? That up. Sounds good. On this one, I don't want to thicken up too, too much. I don't want to lose the tusk. I'm just on the left hand side. It's funny. I'm talking as though you can see what I'm doing. But. That's pretty good, except there's a little bit of... There's like this little bit of a bump right there in the tusk, so I'm just gonna try to... I'm gonna try to just lightly, lightly take that little bump out of there. That's good. That's good, that's good. Yes, you can. That's right, Stegosaurus. So I, well, I, sh I should say I've done a 
couple of drawing streams before, but today is the official first one of the regularly scheduled drawings. I just I want to do more of this. The part of me is thinking it might be interesting to... Actually, I don't know, actually. As a, quest a question for everyone, would it be interesting? Or, um... I'm not sure that I want to introduce a camera. But is there in... Do you find that you prefer streams where people use webcams? Or do you care? I'm trying to think, you know, just... Just, I guess, partially planning for what I want to get for this stream eventually, but also... Um... Trying to figure out whether I want to do it or not. Or do people, you know, do people want it? Do I want to do it? Don't care for me? Okay, whatever suits you. Cool, thank you. I may try one of these drawing streams, just... Maybe, like, have uh, test it with my iPhone first, so that the camera's facing down at the iPad, so when I say this area here and i'm sort of gesturing at you know if i gesture at the nostril i don't actually have to draw a circle around it for you to know what i'm talking about you can just sort of see what i'm pointing at so so maybe it'll be less of a camera on my face <laughs> fire breath i don't care dude you see my face all the time <laughs> fire breath i don't mind i saw your face at supper but good to know fire breath that it doesn't bother you one way or the other with streamers. Okay, cool. I think that line quality is pretty, pretty good. Actually, I feel like I may have missed. I think I missed that line there. Feels a bit thinner than the rest. Actually, and the underneath of the ear. Let's do the underneath of the ear first. I believe there's a bump underneath in the middle there. Yeah, okay, there was a bump. All these little tiny nicks I'm making in the line. Yeah, and you can't even see. I, I think I'm going to try to introduce a camera, even if it's not of my face. Just as so you can see what I'm doing, so that when I say... I just added a little bit of a nick. You probably didn't even see the pixel change. You don't even know where I am in the drawing. That was me just actually putting lines in to see how you experience how you see it because I'm I'm just nudging basically nudging pixels over bit by bit with the line. It's interesting sometimes how obvious it is when you zoom out. Like that little little tiny notch in there it wasn't super obvious to me when I was zoomed in, but I can... There we go. Alright, um, that's not even, so... We'll... The hoof, I guess I should say. The foot is not even all the way around, so I'll just try to adjust that curve slightly. That's good. I'm just quick I'm just doing a quick scan of the line quality to see how it looks. That is pretty darn snazzy, I must say, I must say. Was I self taught? Yes, I, I did go to art school, um, and I learned some techniques there, but not a whole lot because I went into graphic design very, very early. No worries, Turtle. I'll see you, see you in a bit. Um, so all of the all of this drawing that I do right now, cartooning wise and illustration wise, that's all self taught. I didn't do any of that in school. It was um, more leaning towards the realistic stuff, and and. I don't want to say it's not a good school where I went because it is good, but I learned more design while I was graphic design while I was there. 
Which is good because I it's not my full time job. I make a living doing that, so it's too thick. Yeah, I think that line's bugging me. I was trying to thicken it up, but I think it's more that it needs to be trimmed back. I'll trim it back and then beef it back up. That'll probably be the easiest. Actually, I'm just, I hate to have to do this, but this is my French teacher is trying to get a hold of me multiple texts, so I'm just going to take a quick, quick message there. Or a moment there to reply. Uh, oops. Okay, actually, let's, while we're doing that, waiting for the application to open, let's start the coloring. Shall we? Let's bring up the color. Like I said, most of that is fine. There's just going to be some of it that we need to, uh... Oops, go over. We want pencil. We want painting. And that brush. Basically, all the stuff in here we need to, uh... Wait, what layer am I on? Probably the wrong one. Yes, the wrong one. You want to be on color. Okay. No. Oh, eraser. Ha oh, ha oh, ha. Oh. And now that pencil is too thick. So put down a Oops. Really rough. Uh... Just sort of writing that text now. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I wonder what layer that is, that, that, that white. Oh, that white's on that layer. Oh, interesting. There we go. For those who are lurking, that is perfectly 100% okay. Lurks are still appreciated. And to be honest, like I said, when I go into drawing mode, sometimes I free <laughs> sometimes I forget to talk. So it's almost like I'm lurking as well. And then for anyone else out there who uses Procreate, my uh, Ascend Fire Breath actually f helped me find a good um, technique for for coloring, essentially, when we do line work. Um, I'll just do this quickly. So in the clean line area, if you wanted to have... Or let's just do a new one. So if you find that you've got your clean lines going... Nope, that didn't work. And you are going, yep, this looks amazing, and I want it to be, I just, I know that's stupid, but if you wanted to then fill this in, um, and I guess if you knew that, I guess let's use um, the sharks. I think I showed that last stream, but just to show it again quickly, this is a very 
super quick drawing of the shark, so I'm not even using the circles underneath, so. Um. So just, I'm just gonna stop the drawing there. So with the sharks, there's part of it that's white. It goes like this. But I don't really want to put a black in a black line there to divide the um, to divide the line. So basically, what when it comes to coloring time, um, we then make a copy of that, and I can I'm just going to do it as light gray right now, so it stands out better. So you can actually take. Draw the line like this, and then drag over a color there if you want. And the nice thing is, now that I'm drawing in the layer underneath, like the the clean line stays on one layer, and all of the coloring I do is in a layer other, underneath. So anyway, so that's basically what I'm doing on on this one. Uh, also, the fire pith does mm, very little. He's good if he takes his time, but he just he, again doesn't. I don't think he has the patience for it. But, but Frosty draws on a regular basis, although we don't know what he draws because he's a. Uh, oops. He uh, he likes to draw up in his room, so we don't always get to see what he does. We've seen some of his stuff, and he's quite good. Uh, eraser... Cool. So when I was trying to be very careful next to that line, I realized I don't need to because... I put the line above it. All right, cool. I guess I didn't really need to erase that line now that I think of it. I could have just painted over it. in the hooves now. I'm just sampling the color that I had down there from the previous hoof, which is super handy in this case. And then I think in the clean lines we should probably Part of me doesn't even want to put this line in because it's not going to show up at the smaller sizes, but the reality is there's a little tiny left in the hoof, and so I want to try to put it in. And borrow that. Nope, wrong layer. Some of the highlights in the top part of the hooves. And I think I'm actually going to put a darker color at the bottom too. I think it is good. Well, I'd like to, I hope it's good for your brain because I do a lot of it. Can't imagine it's bad for your brain, but. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It is. It is good. It gets you to think in. It gets you know your brain working in a specific way. And Firepith, he's a uh, he's more on the music side of creativity in the family than the drawing side. At least to play the piano. There we go. Mm. 
And I'll just kind of make the highlight on the arm line up with the highlight of the hoof. So it almost sounds like an old Ali Minogue song. Cool. So oh, cool. I do, I do as well, actually. I, I always wish I could play the guitar. And I've actually got one of my dad's old guitars here. I just haven't had the time to play it yet. But that's one of the things I want to tackle now that I'm down to the single job. I guess now it's just reminding myself that I have to do it. There we go. And I've already got the shade up there, so that's good. So I can just steal that color too. Awesome. up entirely on that side. kind of digging this song. Oh, Stegosaurus, sorry I missed that. Sorry I missed that Stegosaurus. You play the piano and occasionally the, gu occasionally the guitar? Nice, that's awesome. It's, it's kind of interesting to, to chat with people here on, on Twitch because on some level you see these usernames go by and this isn't meant as disrespectful but it doesn't always strike me immediately to ask what everyone does and what their hobbies are and and it seems like there's just a ton of people who have music ability here that like i feel like that's something i should be asking more often what do you guys like to do in your spare time what are your talents what are your that's very cool and the fact that you danny are is a it is a very musical stream very talented like we've got some and Danny, you're a ballet instructor, correct? If I remember correctly. Instructor or choreographer? Or is that or both? Alright, we've got <laughs> real turtles back and fire for their back. They have returned! <laughs> no, Danny, I do not hurt. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, uh, yeah, no, it would definitely. I'm yeah, actually Firepith. I've, I've, I don't know whether we're going to sit down and do it, but I'm going to try to get see if Firepith can help me come up with some little tiny piano like chimes. For, uh, for my notifications. Or if he's not your strong point. Well, I envy the fact that you... I envy the fact that you do ballet. I think I mentioned this last time. If I if I were able to go back in life and... I don't really have any regrets. Other than now that I know more... Or have seen more dance out in the world. Just from TV shows and stuff. That's one thing I, I would have loved to... Loved to have taken dance... That would be awesome. Cool, I gotta say this is looking all right.
Three hands for the piano, that'd be funny. <laughs> it grants me high levels of enjoyment. <laughs> Love it. Oops, that seems a bit weird down there. Curve seems off. The curve seems off. Actually, I think I do want this to match up a little bit better over here. Actually, I forgot I've got this loop I can always drag around. It, it drags, it pulls up a color, but if I wanted to highlight anything to you, I can just sort of pull around and say, this area right here. So I do like, I want this curve to match up better with the black there, but I'm actually going to change it by making the gray. We're changing the gray, not the brown. One's better, I think. Yeah, I never play this close attention to uh, big salty pond drawings. I should say the, the line quality and stuff like that. Because it's only ever going to be viewed at like this big, so I don't need to... Or the, uh, at a single size, so I don't need to worry about it too, too much. Alright, let's do... I'm just going to beef up this highlight along the top because it's going to be a very thin looking line at a smaller size. Okay, so now I find that these, like as I mentioned at the beginning, as I mentioned at the beginning, oops, sorry, I missed the... Oh, the third hand on the emote. No, that's, um, thank you. <laughs> that's, uh, from the previous pose. Thank you for that. That would have been embarrassing if, if I had left it on there. Cool. No, this is definitely a two-hand emote. Thank you, thank you. Add a little bit of a highlight at the top here. I don't know if it's going to look good or not, but just to make that sort of as a cleft of the toe show up a bit better. That might be weird though, like that. I think that is weird like that. I'll just, I'll just deal with the fact that it's not going to be super visible. I think that's done. Now we just need to, I think, work on the highlight a little bit. Or not so the not the highlight, the heart colors, because I find that the eyes don't really pop out a whole whole lot from the brown color. I'm gonna take that red. Actually, I want to try pink first, like a crazy bright pink. Let's try the pink from Big Salty Pond, shall we? Maybe a little bit too crazy. That's not too bad, to be honest. It's funny, pink is one of those colors that Growing up, traditionally, it was always a girl's color, so I never really gave it much thought or consideration, but in the last little while, I've actually started to really like pink. I think it's kind of a great color. And that definitely stands out more than the red. But I might even go for a slightly, slightly brighter pink. Try this. Yep, that's going to be it. Um, um, it's 
sorry, what, what this emote will be called. Um, I don't know. I was thinking of calling it, um, we've got shark hype. I was thinking of calling it, um, um, I actually don't know. It's a good question. The pink is your username? Or Among Us is pink. Oh, gotcha. Tooth pink, that's right. But that pink is definitely, definitely pops out more. I'll have to think on that. Boris Love. Oh, we could do that, actually. So it'll, it's weird. I have no choice. It's going to be S-T-E-P, what is it? S-T-E-P-H-E, I think. Yeah, S T E P H E seven one. Boris Love. That's what it'll be. Boris Love. Good one. I like that Stegosaurus. Yeah, me too. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. I know I could always make the. Uh... Ooh, Boris Love. Exactly, turtle. That's what it's going to be. Force love. Neon blue. Nah. Well, I guess they could be. But I think having them both the same color is. I actually kind of like that. Pops nicely. Up. Alright, I'm going to do Steel Boar's Pink again for the shadow here. Actually, I'm wondering now if the heart should come in front of the ear. Sorry, just one second. I'm trying this. Curious now. What do you think should he... Yeah, it probably should come in front of the ear. Under the ear. Over the ear. Mega Lov Lovania intensifies. <laughs> yeah, I think we have to go over the ear. All right, I have to play with the line quality again here. Um... Just when you thought you were done with me, messing with the line detail. I'm not done with that yet. at the top there. That's better. That's good. Why don't we? We just need to color that in. Let's add a little bit of highlight to this. And then I think we're going to be done.
One thing I find hard to do in Procreate sometimes is coming to a fine point on things. It doesn't really always... It's like I have to make multiple passes in order to make it come to a point. Overall, I love the drawing experience, but just some things make me go, Ugh, Why Procreate? Why? I do believe that is done. Although I am going to cheat the uh, the freckles down a tiny bit because I would like to give them, they're usually that high or higher. Oops. But I want to uh, give them a bit more separation. Right there. That'll be good. That'll be good. This is why you can't be traditional media, yeah. Yeah. Traditional media is... I, I love it, but I've gotten so used to having this command undo thing, it's just... I'd almost be frightened to venture forward. Without it. And I guess it also depends for me what the final... Have this conversation with my wife. For me, it depends on what the final use of it is going to be. Because if you can do digital illustration, if you if you can do it digitally and have it look good, and the final point of it, oh, okay, seven five six seven aim. Have a great night. Thank you very much, and uh, hope we'll be back Tuesday with some Minecraft. If that's if you're cool with that, so hopefully we'll see you then. I guess whether you're <laughs> whether you're cool with it or not, I'll be back on Tuesday with Minecraft. Just hope to see you there. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Seven five six seven aim. Uh, no, Steven, I'm not cool with that. So there will be no Minecraft. There we go. Clean up the nose lines. Uh, the nose looks so much better. Oh my goodness, it all looks so much better. <gasps> Love it! Alright, so then that for the circle. Boink. For the circle. Yeah, that's right. I said I'm going to do this in Photoshop. But I think I want that circle. Well, what was it going to do, right? It was going to be like a sky. Sky blue. Yeah, that's going to be the background. That's what it's going to be. Let's turn off the sketch layer. Cool. I'm just actually curious right now. I don't know if I'll keep this, but select and invert erase. Come on. Oh, wrong layer. Wrong layer. Other. We do that. And then clean lines. Actually, let's not commit to it. Put you back. I'm gonna create a mask. Hmm. Maybe that wasn't a great idea. All right. All right. Let's deselect like that. Give you a mask. Give you mask, and then we'll select this. Select. And then we'll mask it out. That's what I should be doing. 
Oh. Sorry about that, folks. Um, you like his hoof? His hoof? <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks, Shoe Turtle. I'm pretty pleased with the way this is coming as well. Uh, collect. Invert. That's what we wanted. I believe. Now I can go to the mask. There we go. Alright, so this is what I was talking about, not deleting pixels if I don't have to. So, for those of you who have not used Photoshop before or anything like it, you can create a mask that essentially, basically I've just hidden it. I'm not actually destroying any information or taking it away. And I can do the same thing over here. Ooh. That's basically what the emote's gonna look like. Cool, right on. Well, I am pleased with that. Um, so, um, cool. Okay, so I guess one question I have, and I don't necessarily, I'm not necessarily going to take care of it tonight, but is there any, do you folks find it interesting when I get into like the crazy, crazy details of the pixel by pixel nudging in Photoshop? Um, because I feel like that it might be interesting to some, but then not interesting to others. And I don't want to bore people to death with me going in and actually like trying to t nudge the pixels around on this tiny creature um, when I find that the larger one might be more interesting. You enjoy it? Okay. All right. So maybe what I'll do. What time is it now? 10 after 9. All right. So instead of over so today, I will keep that in mind, Danny. Thank you. But maybe what I'll do is I'll start that next. I'll do that next Sunday because I think I, I need to flip over to Photoshop to do that and I haven't I haven't gotten my screen stuff figured out um, to do that properly so what I'm going to do is actually uh, I'll leave this for now and then maybe we'll start thinking about the the next emote what it could be and then we will get into the pixel perfect nudging here and there in Photoshop next week <laughs> no please we're doomed hey we brought it on Firebath. all right let's get some more wait where's that other where's that other shark Oh, okay, so that's a small one. So I've got an extra layer of... So that's extra. I don't need that. But you, I'm not sure why you're there. Because you were also... There. So I just happen to have an extra one that I do not need. And that is... I don't even know what that is. Oh, yeah, we can get rid of that now. Get rid of the hard eyes. We'll keep that. That was the original sketch. I like the original sketch, so we'll keep that. <laughs> stop yourself, turtle, stop! It's all good. Uh, but those, I don't need. I can get rid of those. Okay, I don't really need... I don't need this one then, because I've got it in the big sketching layer. Alright, cool. Nice. Alright, so now we can get back to just the regular sketching. So we've got... Yeah, okay, that, that's actually... This is good. One of the things I was wondering about was whether it was going to be... Oops. Uh, no. Whether I made Boris too big or not but this is going to be a good indication because as you can see or I don't know if you can see or not but basically right here Boris fits in the bottom of the circle well 
I have an issue where his his hair up here is a little bit too much. So what I'm going to be I find that um, as I meant I think I mentioned that Procreate's not as good for the pixel perfect stuff. So what I'm going to do is go into Photoshop and I'll, I'll literally make a box that is that is the required size for uh, cancel sketching. You know, whatever this is supposed to be in terms of pixel perfect, I will make that. And then I will I will nudge Boris down so that hair fits in so I don't have to trim any off of it. And then I will, I will make the circle, adjust the circle at the bottom there so that it fits. Cool. All right. Done. Hey, now let's move on to the sketchy sketch layer. Oh, we're already there. Let's switch to the sketchy sketch pencil then. Um, actually, there are some things down there in the sketch world that we do not need. These foolish, foolish sketches that don't have a thing to do with anything. Oh, look at that. There's, there's the perfect. Somebody said the perfect spot one time and I drew some stairs. <laughs> like a curse. So for this next one, we've got Boris, Boris Love. Now we need to think of the next one. Originally I was thinking that some starry eyes one would be, starry eyed ones would be good. But I don't know what character I would draw them on. Uh... That's funny, I'm drawing a blank. I had an idea of what I wanted it to look like, but now I'm not sure. Not what I wanted it to look like, but what it was going to be for. Let me bring that sketch back. Briefly. So that's when I was trying to decide between starry eyes or hard eyes. I guess let's take a look at what other characters we want to introduce. I've got... Um... Oops, sorry, just one sec. Another message. I really apologize for doing this, but I don't want to... Leave my touch hanging. Uh... Funny, because I have to think in French right now while I'm talking to you all in English. I really apologize for this, but if if I don't respond right away, then I get a message on one service, and then another service is if I don't get back to her. So <laughs> I have French class tomorrow, so I want to make sure I've got this figured out. Okay, very, very sorry about that. All right, so I missed, um, can we get a cosmic promotion? Yes, of course, that's an excellent idea. So our dear cosmic dancer, cosmic underscore dancer, apparently is going to start streaming in 2021. So if you haven't already, um, go follow cosmic so that when she starts up, um, she's got a whack of followers because she is, and if you've any, any of you have watched my stream before, which I believe everyone here has, she is awesome. She is a moderator for basically everyone on the Citadel, um, but she's also a great, a great human to have around. So um, make sure you follow her so that when she goes live in 2021, she's got a very, very warm welcome. All right, sketching. I'm on pencil. I'm on pencil. 
All right, so maybe we'll look at doing, I was thinking kind of be neat to do turtle. And turtle, fair enough. I just, it's fair warning. I have uh, not to, to um, sound like I don't care that you're here because I really truly do, but this, tur <laughs> this turtle is another character that I've drawn. Um, and so it's uh, actually a tortoise. She's a tortoise. I'm trying to think of. Uh... I don't know that it'll be whether she'll work as a as a uh, an emote or not. Go oh, follow cosmic dancer. That's right. I guess with the, the turtle shell and everything like that, or with the tortoise shell, or it could look a little bit like a, a bird, to be honest. Not there's anything wrong with birds, but that's not what, just not what Tori is. Although they do have a snapping beak. Hmm. I don't think she's going to work well. Anything that supports turtle pride. There you go. Actually, I don't know if I've got... I should have... Cosmic... Answer? <laughs> cool, I can do it. So there's her link. A quick shout out to Cosmic Dancer, who was recently streaming no game. Uh, <laughs> Ooh. Funny. Oh, what about Gillis Jr.? Francis or Gillis Jr.? Both would be great. Uh, Francis. Yeah, I didn't realize that was a no it wasn't a thing either. Actually, Francis might be interesting. All right, so this turtle or the tortoise. I feel like without the shell, it'll be weird. But there's no way that this is going to be able to get down to uh Um, oh, actually, I forgot. Um, uh, that's not correct. I used to draw turtles with the head coming out of one hole, and then the legs coming out of a different hole, but the front legs actually come out of the same hole. And I only figured that out once I was studying how to draw these things for my, my book. I don't think she's going to work. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, I think it'll just look like a bird head if I use her. All right, that's all right. Sorry, Tori. Actually, let's just copy and paste you onto another layer for perhaps another time. So let's do this or cut and paste and hide that from now. All right, let's take a look at Francis. That's not a bad idea. Oops, I missed some of the chat there. No game personality. <laughs> Francis probably wouldn't be easy to see at a small size. Terrence. <laughs> I forgot about Terrence. All right, that's, that's hilarious. And now we've got Boris taken care of. Let's move Boris over. 
next to Gillis. Okay, and then we will um, take over this this rectangular area again. Yeah, my tea is cold. But... All right, so if we did Francis, it would almost have to be a giant Francis. Not that that would be necessarily bad, because it wouldn't be wouldn't have to be the same scale. Let's just see what. What Francis would look like. Good memory, by the way, there, Turtle. Totally forgot about. Yes. I'm not sure what we would have for. Uh... I think one of the things I need to figure out is what the next the next expression would be. Unless we wanted to do something like annoyed eye rolly thing. That doesn't tend to be what Francis is about. Hm. Doesn't mean Francis can't be peeved, but. That would be cool, actually, tar uh, Turtle, but it's, it's not gold, it's cold. Digging this song. Funny, this is almost like a big salty pond drawing day. You know what he's That's true. Fair enough. And she did well, technically uh Cosmic's the only one who has met the bit level that would be uh able to use this. So let's uh Thank you for that, Danny. Let's try to make this. Dear Francis, you're about to get eye rolly. Alright, Francis, I'm digging it. Okay, we'll definitely make it. Thank you, Danny. I think that's good. Oh, Moon Girl, my dear wife has redeemed Sing Along. You've heard me singing from downstairs before, so you know what this is like. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> Double. So now we have to do Haughty Boy singing. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. Hey Siri, set a timer for two minutes. Your timer is set for two minutes. And here we have Haughty Boy singing a song. Singing poorly as he sketches along. I don't know why you continue to do this to yourselves. Making your ears bleed on a Sunday night can't be your favorite thing in the world. And here we have Francis the Catfish, whose eyes are rolling back. He's annoyed. I wish I could have him slap his forehead, except his fins are too damn short. Oh, his frustration is... What would you say, palatable? 
pal palpable. Oh, it's dreadful. He, which is he could slap himself in the head, but he cannot, for he's a fish. <laughs> oh dear. I am not sure what to do here with his fins. Oh, perhaps we'll have one out like that, and the other one will be a fist on what would be his waist if he weren't a fish. Instead. Dead, this fin shall go here, curled in a fist. That's not really a f <laughs> fist. <laughs> no, my dear, I cannot hear. You are laughing, for I have music in my ear. But I am glad you feel this was a good use of your viewpoints. And that you will not divorce me, or at least it's not been discussed. <laughs> <laughs> Nowhere in our vows was there an out for my singing ability. You are all lucky. I don't even know what I would do if I kept going. Rhyme time! Classy, that's right. <laughs> no, I wasn't saying that I would divorce you, Moon Girl. I was just saying that. You can't divorce me. You spent these points. Actually, I should put that in the uh, a, a clause in there for the viewpoints. You cannot divorce me, and people cannot disown me. But that's hilarious. It is over already. Yeah. Love you. All right. It's funny for the singing part of it. I do find it. I am. Happy people still like it happening, or like like it to happen in the stream, but I find it harder to focus on um, when drawing. It's interesting. That's not for anyone else to worry about. That's just my own personal observation. Let's hear Boris. We're going to um, steal your soycle. Uh, duplicate. Now we can do kind of at least use it as a uh, uh, I am under arrest for bad singing. That is 100% warranted. 100% warranted. <laughs> it, <laughs> don't you focus on my drawing as well. It's hilarious. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. So once again, uh, as, as per usual, Moon Girl Art, thank you kindly for spending your viewpoints on the sing-along. And Firepith, thank you for spending your viewpoints on Multibor. Glad y'all enjoyed. So if we do this circle right about... Come on. Go, go, go. Right about there. Actually, let's move this forward a tiny bit so we can get the whole front fin in. That'd be good. And that way we can just, we'll sketch in the circle. All the love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I, oops. I think I want the circle back further. It seems to be, come on, move. Why aren't you moving? There we go. Probably there. Maybe a little bit lower. Because I don't want this. These are the areas I'm looking at. I don't want. Oops. Uh, sketching. I don't want this to be too. I want that to stick out enough. I want his nose to stick out enough. The fact that Francis's fin is right on the edge there sort of annoys me a little bit. And then when we've got the. Uh, The tendril or the tentacle sticking out at the front there, that bugs me as well. Or th just that it's so close to the circle, so I c but I can always stretch that out longer. In fact, let's do that, shall we?
That eye is bigger than Francis's usually is, but I think to get the whole eye roll effect in, this has got to be there. Um, uh, all right, I'm kind of regretting this. I'm going to put Francis on his own layer. Uh, copy and paste. And then let's get rid of that sketching layer. And I just want, I want to get rid of the, the box around it. It's messing my mind. Messing with my mind. <laughs> Steven 7 1 Francis Eye Roll. Yeah, what are we going to call that? Francis Eye Roll is. That's a mouthful. I mean, you don't have to type that in every time, but that's. That's a lot of characters you have to type all the time. I'm not sure about that. The Francis eye roll is essentially what it is. It is a bit of a mouthful. I'm just deleting all this extra stuff I don't need. Oops. Whoa. Cut. And then eraser. Oh. Francis roll. That's actually good. Thanks for these suggestions there, Turtle. These are good. So we've got Boris Love and Francis roll. We do Francis roll. What should we do? Francis roll or Fran I roll? Huh? Or, or, oh, we could do JR if we wanted to, like junior I roll. What about that? I'll throw that out to y'all. Let me know what you think. Francis I roll, Francis roll, Fran I roll, or junior I roll, as in JR I roll. <laughs> That's funny because now it looks like Jay Ryerall. <laughs> this is funny. All right. There we go. Cool. And then that would come down like this. And Francis usually comes down like that. Got that part in the. I might have to cheat this part. That would usually be down further, but I'm going to put it up higher just so that I can get it in. Or I guess the question is do I even. Do I need it? But I feel like it's it's been in the front, so it feels like it should be there. Brand uh, roll, brand roll. What do we do? <laughs> what do we just do? F R I roll, so it's it's <laughs> so it's fry roll. Lame, but hilarious at the same time. Welcome to Streaming with Steven, where we look to do all of the lame word mashups because we think they're hilarious. <laughs> Fro. <laughs> nice. So I guess it sort of begs the question though, does it actually need to be, I guess from a user perspective, 
Yes, not only do we think they're hilarious, we make <laughs> that's true. Or <laughs> that's the truth. Is it funny? Or do we just convince ourselves they're funny? Alright, well that actually came together pretty quickly, so let's um I guess it sort of helps that I draw this dude on a regular basis. This is great too, shall we? Oops, what did I do? Did I not do anything? Hmm. No. Right. Plus? There we go. Oops. Very nice. Let's just group these. Not a group in a group. Where does it end? There we go. Alright, so now we're doing clean lines. We need to go back to our uh, technical pencil. Uh, which is our technical pen, which is that one. Should still have the same thickness as before. Oh come on. Does not we move that? It was on ten when we were doing these lines, I think. A ten. Yeah, that was on ten. Okay. All right. Even. True, we could just do roll. Or, I mean, if we wanted to be short, but sort of, I guess, descriptive enough, it could just be eye roll. It doesn't make me laugh at all, but it might be, it might be the best choice for simplicity's sake. That's a good question, Firepith. Is it allowed if it doesn't make me chuckle at least a tiny bit? Might be against the rules. Might be against the rules, so we'll have to... Even if it's not against the rules, perhaps we should make it against the rules. Change the curve of this a little bit. Make that eye stick a little bit higher than usual. Okay, if we're gonna eye roll, let's make that eye stand out. Ten days, I said we'll get down to the uh, we'll get down to the pixel nitty gritty in Photoshop. Oh, that circles. It's not a circle. It's bugging me. Oh. That's better. Now I just need to fix the inside.
Oh. Trying to draw that line and it's getting weird. It's getting all weird on me. I'm just going to gouge it out and gouge out the eye. True, I could do a poll on, maybe I'll do that. Poll on Discord or Twitch. Well, Twitch, I can't do polls. I don't have, I think that's a, or can I? Okay, I'm just doing a poll test here. Sorry, just one sec. I didn't know I could. And I'm in. Oh. Poll test? Oh, I can. Interesting. Do, or can I just do poll? I'm trying to. Yeah, you know, well. Neat. All right, I can do a poll. I don't have to worry about it now because I have to. It'll be a while before I submit it, but I will try that. Cool. I thought that was reserved for uh, for partners, but now I just don't. I just learned something. There we go. That's a good eye. Oh, that's looking like it's got a bit of a weird bump right here. There we go. Good. Oh, so much in the details. So much in the details. You're trying to delete a shadow in a Photoshop sketch. If you hold down, I believe it is... Um, if you control click on the area in your screen, it should bring up control. No, and now we have a difference between Mac and PC, so I don't know. Um, if you right, try right clicking on the area in Photoshop where that layer is that you can't find, and it should bring up a menu. Oh, sorry, Turtle, uh, you have to go. Awesome, thank you very much for hanging around, Turtle. Always a pleasure. Um, and thanks for pushing me to do another art stream. It's actually one of the things that made me go, you know what? Let's make this more of a regular thing. So I really appreciate it. Have yourself a wonderful night, Turtle. Tweak that eye later. It's got a weird bump in it. You got it somehow? Good. Good, good. So much focus, so much time spent on one line. It's funny, I was drawing along and my <laughs> my arm fell off the armchair. Or my, uh, my chair's armrest, so it kind of did this jolty thing.
That's better. Well, it looks like it's waving, wavering a little bit there. That's frustrating. Okay. <laughs> All right, lovely. Thanks for tuning in. Have yourself good, I guess, and good 20 minutes before I see you. line is the line thick enough though i do believe it is i do believe it is <laughs> it should be a good night emote oh that's interesting interesting idea fire Biff. For often, how often we say good night. True, true. Oh, there was a. We could always do a raid emote at some point. Not that I want to go and copy everyone, but that seems to be a popular one. And I would like to get more comfortable with the idea of raiding. I'm just not always comfortable with raid. You know, raiding with a. Uh... I guess I'm just not comfortable with raiding at all yet. I don't do it very often. That's sort of the curve I want, but I keep messing it up. That's not it. <laughs> That's not right. Actually, no, I forgot. I started, um... Started sketching him a little bit differently recently. So I started doing his, his head the same way I was doing the... The shark's head, so... It was across like that, and then... Down. Yep, yeah, that's better. What am I drawing on now? Why are you not working? Oh, right, because it's pencil. When I do curves like that, actually, there's a... I don't know how to... This is where I wish I did have a web camera, because I could point to the part of my hand that I use, and I rest it and use it as a pivot point, so I, I keep that in one spot on the iPad, and then I just try to lock my hand into place when I want to do very straight curves. 
I know Procreate, ha Procreate has sort of a... It's supposed to age you when doing curves better, but it's not always... Like if you draw a line and then hold, it'll straighten it out for you or whatever, but it, if you do a curve, it doesn't always... It sort of assumes what you want the cur curve to be sometimes, it straightens it out, which is a little annoying. See, I would love it to kind of take the curve I did and just fine tune it a little bit, but no dice. Anyone who's ever watched Joel do a stream, this is sort of the same way. You got to get the line just right. I think for me, though, if I can get it close enough, I'm just going to go in and fine tune it afterwards because in the same line over and over again I imagine it's not always super interesting for people to watch but it also just annoys me having to do it over and over again and there's something sad a little bit satisfying about kind of going in and well there's something super satisfying about the getting the curve exactly right the first time don't get me wrong but Going in and doing the little, thickening things up super carefully almost feels like it's curving the line. It's almost like sculpting the line, if that makes sense. Which is a little bit interesting, a little bit satisfying. Something that seems a little bit off. I think it's the inside or the upper part of it here. Those lines look good, but they, I wonder if they look a little too thick now. What are we doing for time? we got a couple minutes left. That's all right. We might be able to at least, if not all of the, the outlines here, a good chunk of them. Firepith. Like as, as I said earlier, I, I've drawn this this little dude a bunch of times, so it's a uh, and it's not like I'm and I'm not trying to fix errors from the last time I'm drawing it. It's almost like I've, I've drawn him a bunch of times, so it's easier. But I'm also drawing it quote unquote correct the first time. Not that it was incorrect before with Boris, but had some figuring to do. I find I, I frequently hold my breath when trying to do these lines as well. 
Actually, what I'm going to do is just get the lines drawn in. And the next time we'll come back and do the, uh, the fine tuning on it. Because we're also going to bring both of these into Photoshop to do. Uh, yeah, the pixel perfect version. The pixel perfect petite version. That was horrible. This is where it's going to be interesting, where I'm going to have to test my patience a little bit or see how much I'm willing to let go because the uh, the thickness of this line is going to be the inside of it versus the outside of it is going to drive me a little bit crazy. That's actually not as bad as I thought it might end up being. But I know I've got to work on... What are you? What brush are you? Actually, you know what? I should make them the same. So inking, technical pen. Let's put that up to... And that way I can erase with the same level of... Same type of edge that I'm drawing with. That'll be much better. What I usually try to do, but I forgot. God, I forgot, I forgot. I'm sorry. Oops. All right. Um, all right, folks, I'm going to just draw these last couple lines in here semi quickly just so that I can, I guess, close the, the books on this one, so to speak, for the night. Oops. And then we'll get into finishing the details. Um, dear Steven, it's getting late. Okay, thank you, Firepith. Thank you very much. Um, I've got this one fin I'm going to do quickly. And then I shall sign off for the night. That was not a good curve. Well, that's pretty good. And if we turn off the sketching, where's the sketching? 
Cool. That's actually not bad. Came to bed pretty quickly. Yeah, we'll find out. We'll find out. If not, we will have to do someone else with the high roll. Anyway, all right. I think that's where I'm going to end it for now. Thank you all very much for joining in. Super happy to have you along. Very happy with the way that Boris turned out in the end. Um, yeah, the video for this, um, if you didn't catch the entire thing, is going to be up on YouTube tomorrow evening. I'm over on YouTube at Stephen ESC as well. Um, yeah, if Twitter's your thing, I'm over there at Stephen ESC as well. And if you haven't joined up yet, we have a Discord as well, and the link is in the about no the in the Discord section in the information box below. Danny, thank you very much for joining in. Have yourself a wonderful, wonderful night. And um, yeah, everyone, thank you for being here. And we'll be back on Tuesday um, with some more Minecraft streaming. So thank you again. Have a wonderful night. And we shall catch you next time. Bye. Thank you.